Okay. The third campaign, Montezuma, the reign of blood. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, eagle warrior of Tenochtitlan. An omen appeared above the forest, the shape of an ear of corn, but blazing like daybreak. It seemed to bleed fire, drop by drop, like a wound in the sky. I am a warrior, not a priest, and knew not what to make of such a sign. I consulted with the seers and magicians to see if another great war was coming, but they answered only in riddles. The gods want more sacrifice, was their answer. That was always their answer. Much of our empire of rainforests and volcanoes has been conquered in the name of sacrifice. The magicians tell us that we must make a sacrifice every single day for the sun to continue to rise. It took the relay teams two full days to carry my message the 200 miles to our city of Tenochtitlan. After two more days, my uncle, Montezuma, emperor of the Aztecs, sent his reply. Montezuma's priests foretold that the god Quetzalcoatl might soon return from his long exile. How else to explain the omen? Montezuma ordered my warriors to increase their efforts to consolidate the rainforest between our lands and those of our enemies. We must establish control over four shrines that are sacred to Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Because the Aztec Empire is mighty and constantly expands, we have made many enemies. We must defend these shrines from our enemies in order to prepare for Quetzalcoatl's eventual return. Okay then. We are at war. Let's get started then. I hear the growl of the jaguar. Is this a bad omen? Okay, I'll need a significant number of villagers working on food, wood and gold. I also should find some stone. I mean, obviously I can buy it from the market, but that's not an ideal solution. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, the Jaguar has been dealt with. And I got more houses. Ok, 
Sir. Ban. Comanche. Oak. Oak. Banter one. Oak. Alzar. Oak. Chacona. But nay. Okay. Oh, need some, uh, need some houses. Fair enough. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, well this is annoying, all my streams are getting demonetized, what the fuck is up with that? I was just checking certain things on YouTube. Gonna get the lumber camp over here and I'm gonna need another castle and a university of course to go with it. Uh, odd, okay I'll just build it there then. So I'll need some long swordsmen, maybe, and of course some siege as well to really make this work. Wow. 
Avance el bon. Saco, saco una. Chaco nada. Chaco nada. Comance, comance, pan, cu, pan, oc, pan, pan, chelo. Comance, pan, oc. Ne. 
Ach, zack. Okay. I'm going to take the fight to the west. Uh, so my population limit is uh, that much. Alright, let's get better armor for them then. And let's start heading out. I can't really afford to uh, to garrison units in my uh, in, in my trebuchets. Uh, in my trebuchets, battering rams. That is, so they'll just have to make do as they are. It should be enough. Bantle, 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 Bantle,
Mantel Wong. Oh, Mantel Wong. Oh, 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 Axe, 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 Bantel Okay, gonna keep moving forward over here. We need to get the next... Uh... Alright. 
There's Purple's base. Or at least some portion of it. Damn it. It's too strong. It's really too damn strong.
Outside. Oh, banter one. Banter one. Zack, an army. Banter one. Ku banter one. Zonke. Ku ku. Ku. Ik ko. Banter one. Ku. Mante. Komata. Ku. Ok. Banter one. Banter one. Banter one. Cool. Oh. Cool. I 
not sing, but nay, ok. Outside. Okay, just gonna get my units here. I should try and cut my way for the woods, really. Gonna need some monks. At this uh, monastery, just one. Should do the trick. Outside. 
Until one. Bunter, 
You defile our sacred temple, Aztecs. The gods demand a sacrifice. It's then, it's a victory. A messy affair, but a victory nonetheless. Well, I guess I could have attacked their castle over there. Breaking, broken through their barracks over on this side. You know, just, just get a bunch of rams through the palisade here, here, and then here. Uh, attack it, instead of just trying to destroy their town center through with, with these two towers over situated over here. When my warriors had captured the shrines and defeated the Xochomilco and Tlatiluco, we made the long journey back to Tenochtitlan, laden with gifts for Emperor Montezuma, jade, feathers, and of course, prisoners. The sheer vastness of our city on the lake seemed staggering after having been in the rainforest for so many days. Emperor Montezuma lives in the most sumptuous rooms of the palace with his wives and concubines. While we spoke, he drank frothing chocolate from a golden cup. Musicians played their drums and flutes and masked women danced. When my uncle, Montezuma, first ascended the Great Pyramid many years ago to become emperor, there was a great celebration. Yet now, some question his leadership. He sometimes makes decisions slowly, and rarely does he lead the warriors into combat. Montezuma's priests informed us that Quetzalcoatl, the Feathered Serpent, would soon return to Tenochtitlan to reclaim his kingdom. Since I helped prepare for his coming, I was given a new obsidian Macana, and promoted to the rank of Jaguar Warrior. There was more feasting and dancing that night. The air was heavy with perfume. But I noticed as I walked down the steps of the Emperor's palace that the omen still hung heavily over the lake, spraying sparks over the midnight sky. 
So says Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. The gods were still uneasy. For that same year, another omen appeared. The temple of the demon Huitzilopochtli burst suddenly into flame, although it was made of stone. When the people hurried to pour water on the fire, it burned with even greater violence. I asked our emperor, Montezuma, what we needed to do to appease the gods. His haughty priests made the predictable reply. The Aztec Empire needed more prisoners. The sun god and the rain god and even the feathered serpent Quetzalcoatl were angry deities that required sacrifice. Our city-state of Tenochtitlan is allied with two others, together composing the Triple Alliance. Montezuma intended for the Triple Alliance to attack our longtime enemies, the Tlaxcala. I sent the traditional shield, arrows, and cloaks to the Tlaxcala, declaring to them that they would soon be attacked. Then we marched out into the forests, our jaguar and eagle banners ready to clash with the heron banners of the Tlaxcala. Birds in the rainforest canopy took to the sky, eager to be away from the violence that was to come. Banter wound. Banter wound. Banter wound. Banter wound. Banter wound. Emperor Montezuma insists that you make war on the Tlaxcala. Montezuma oversteps his authority, but we will comply. Okay, so I just need to make my way to this town. Is there even a way to cross over here? I don't know. Let's see where they lead me. There we go, maybe? Yeah, indeed. Montezuma of the Aztecs demands that as a member of the Triple Alliance, you attack the wicked Tlaxcala. Montezuma asks us to do much for the Aztecs, but we shall do his bidding for now. Now we can attack the Tlaxcalans. Villagers are being sent by transport from Tenochtitlan to establish our forward base. And where are they being sent, is the question.
Emperor Montezuma insists that you make war on the Tlashkala. Montezuma oversteps his authority, but we will comply. Montezuma of the Aztecs demands that as a member of the Triple Alliance, you attack the wicked Tlaxcala. Montezuma asks us to do much for the Aztecs, but we shall do his bidding for now. Now we can attack the Tlaxcalans. Villagers are being sent by transport from Tenochtitlan to establish our forward base. Bantelwun. Oak Banter Wound Oak Jay Ku Banter Wound Outside Oak Ku Banter Wound Ku Okay, I'll form my base over here. Enough ground. Oh, I actually have quite a reasonable amount of resources when I look at it. Well, let's get started with some heavy construction then. Cool. 
Levanten el casco. Hijo. Asco, asco. Axe, axe. Hijo. Levanten el wall. Asco. But nay, ask who? Who? Shh. What's up? Okay, so I've got the farming center and I'm behind my ally. Who I probably need to support. They converted that eagle scout. Okay, gonna get more houses, try and get to the population limit, whatever that may be.
Command C. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Okay. Hmm. So they're updating the campaigns. Well, that should be interesting. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, crossbows, maybe? Not now, actually. We'll see if I can get the... So the... So the population limit is still 75. Ugh, that's nasty. Bantel, bantel, walk. Ok. Ok, ok. Ok. Ach, zack. Command C. Unani. 
Okay. So I need more crossbows. More units in general and a siege workshop to start getting uh Workshop over there. Okay. Gonna get rid of the ship. I don't need it and I'll head north, uh, directly north. Or rather through here, north and then west so I can destroy their town center directly.
Banter one. Cool. Cool. Oak. Banter. Banter. Wound. Banter. Wound. <laughs> Bantel We have destroyed one town center. Three remain. Oh, my God. 
Okay, with the with the majority of their unit production destroyed, I can keep moving and keep destroying their settlements. Just gotta consolidate my forces, get the monks here. Clashkala's town centers. Two remain. Ashkala has one town center remaining. Where can it be? Okay, with this one out of the way, we've defeated uh, Tashkala. We have destroyed all of Tashkala's town centers. Now, they will surely surrender. Now that we are rid of the Tlaxcala, 
Let us rid ourselves of these Aztec taskmasters as well. Agreed.
But nay. Ku. Alsak. Bantelu. Okay. Ku. So what do we have here? Ah. Castle there. I'm go destroy that.
Ark. 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 Okay, siege rams are incoming. Somehow I am not surprised by the fact that my so-called allies betrayed me.
None shall challenge the will of Montezuma and the Aztec Empire. But wait, what is this that approaches? I claim these lands and all the gold it bears in the name of Ferdinand of Spain. Until all of the gold is brought to me, I shall not return home. And to prove it, I am sinking my ship. Who is this man who has arrived? Could it be that the god Quetzalcoatl has returned? I'm sure Cortez would uh, would like to be perceived as a god when the in his in the pages of history, but no. He's just a guy on a private venture to claim uh, the Aztec Empire. The first messengers to arrive in Tenochtitlan told of mountains or towers that floated on the sea. Each story told to Montezuma was more fantastic than the last. They could fire stone balls, shooting sparks, and raining fire that could crack open weapons. Huge deer with no antlers carried these gods on their backs. Their swords were iron, their bows were iron, their shields were iron, their clothes were iron. Surely, this was the return of Quetzalcoatl. Montezuma heard these reports with growing alarm as he shifted nervously on the Iquipali, his legless throne. He ordered expensive gifts to be sent to the new arrivals in the hopes that Quetzalcoatl would spare Montezuma when the feathered serpent came to Tenochtitlan. He has come back, Montezuma whispered to me. He seeks his place on the throne, for that is what he promised when he departed. I held my weapons tightly but said nothing. How could I challenge the word of our emperor? So says Cuauhtémoc, jaguar warrior. Of Tenochtitlan. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Another omen. The lake around the great city of Tenochtitlan rose and boiled. It foamed until it washed against the houses of the city, sweeping many of them into the lake. I accompanied our dignitaries to meet with the new arrivals. We journeyed towards the coast through the lands of our enemies, the Tlaxcala. When we emerged from the forest, the strangers welcomed us, although they kept their weapons nearby. I told them that we were Aztecs, representatives of the great Montezuma. Their leader said that his people were Spanish, and he named himself Cortes, although he seemed pleased when we referred to him as Quetzalcoatl. Although their armor and animals seemed otherworldly, they did not seem like gods to me. 
We presented Cortez gifts of finest cotton and plumes of bird feathers, but he seemed more interested in the gold ornaments. He asked again and again if there was more gold to be found in Tenochtitlan. By now, Cortez had advanced all the way to the lands of the Tlaxcala. There was initial warfare made between Tlaxcala and the Spanish. However, when Cortez heard stories about the size of Tenochtitlan and the numbers of our brave Aztec warriors, he suggested that the Spanish and Tlaxcala join forces and attack the Aztecs. Oh yes, how Cortes won, defeat them. The dense rainforest is home to many jaguars. Be okay. But they're not okay. We can save them if they can be of some use. We do not know the intentions of these Spanish arrivals. For now, our enemies are the Tlaxcala. Okay, a fair source of stone. So, Spanish to the east, uh, Lashkala to the west. Very well. I'll need to try and save them at the very least. Oh, 
Hexagonal. Bantel wound. Oak. Bantel wound. Axe. Bantel wound. Axe. Okay, they'll probably need some support to survive against the uh, the coming horde. Oh, crap. Tabasco is lost. The Spanish armies are dangerous because of the beasts they ride into battle. If we could capture these animals, then the Spanish would be much less of a th Or defeat the Spanish. This is the pen where we will corral the captured Spanish horses. Okay. Outside. Our 
runners have confirmed that the Spanish and Tlaxcalans have formed an alliance against us. Now, we must do battle with them both. Comanze, comanze, ok, cu, bantel, cu, cu, bantel, cu, ok, bantel, Okay, I will need to uh, get the uh, monastery and then I'll have to start getting trebuchets. Yes, I am going to fight and defeat the Spanish. Well, I could just get the horses, I suppose, but...
Okay, gonna need more arbalists. Well, arbalists, I mean crossbows. Outside of their artillery, the Spanish shouldn't be particularly hard. Well, obviously there's the paladins, but I think I can handle that. Let's get some chemistry.
Manche Ok Ich ho Ich ho Alzar Ich ho Ku Achtzar Bantel, bantel, ik ho. He, ho. Kom aan, zee. Bantel, woon. Ok, ok. Okay, with that sorted out, those attacks dealt with, time to advance on Team Red. Once they're defeated, I can advance on Team Blue. Let me get some chainmail armor. And deal with this. I should hope the upgrades that I do have are enough. To put them on the back foot. Their town center is there. Okay, gonna get some more arbalists. That one's gone.
Ikko. Bantel. Ach, zack. Ikko. Ach, zack. But ne, ach, se. Ok, ku, ach, se. Until war. Comanche. Banco. Okay, I have the choice of either fighting the Spanish, destroying their base, or just capturing their horses. I think capturing their horses will be the easier job than trying to just completely defeat them. But we'll see how all of that pans out. And what exactly I'm dealing with here. So, group free. Let's get some upgrades. Damn, do they have a lot of walls? It's fine, I'm bringing in the trebuchets.
Okay. Now, I have captured 10 Spanish horses. We are halfway to our goal. The problem is you may have captured 10, but where are go where am I going to get? Oh. Well, I might as well defeat them at this stage. Bantel. 
No joke, really. Bloody hell. There's no, uh... No more gold, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not gonna suffer heavily, just so we're clear on this. I do have the market. Here that the Spanish sank their own transports to prove their determination to conquer our land. Cortez must be survived. Oh, 
Banter one. Ok. Jebiok. Jebiok. Banter me. Jebiok. Jebiok. Banter one. Ok. Banter one. Banter one. Banter one. Okay, I've defeated the Spanish, just need to find the remainder of their villagers. Or send the horses back. Okay, Cortez, where are you? I've eliminated a very substantial portion of the Spanish, but they still fight. They're difficult to eliminate. Very difficult to eliminate. Q. 
Coco Axe Aguicha Chacola I mean, what does it take to defeat the Spanish? I mean, I get the horses part, right? But I'm asking, like, the objective is capture 20 Spanish horses or or defeat the Spanish. Like, like what exactly does defeating the Spanish imply? All their units or all their towers? Just keep in mind that I've killed every single one of them. Like barely anything. I don't think there is. Yeah, screw it. You know what, I'm just gonna save for right here and send the horses and if there is any civilian I'll see once I win. Although the Aztec warriors fought well that day, my men were frightened by the beast that the Spanish rode into combat and by the noise of their exploding weapons. Although we had survived the attack, I thought it best to withdraw towards Tenochtitlan and share with the Emperor Montezuma all that we had learned. I do not know if my uncle, Montezuma, was being cowardly or merely trying to preserve us from the wrath of the gods, but he sent more gifts to Cortes along with an invitation to visit our great city as his personal guest. I was there when Montezuma met Cortes on one of the causeways leading into our great city. The Spanish had evidently never seen anything like Tenochtitlan, and they stared in wonder at the brightly colored markets and pyramids rising out of a man-made island in the middle of gigantic Lake Texcoco. Some of the Spanish soldiers asked whether it was all a dream, the first glimpse of things never heard, seen, or dreamed before. Montezuma led Cortes at the top of the Great Pyramid, where he pointed out the various canals and neighborhoods of the city. But Cortes was mostly interested in gold ornaments and helped himself to any which he encountered. I was no longer convinced that this man was Quetzalcoatl. So says Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior, of Tenochtitlan. Could have been very well the horses, I guess. Not entirely certain about it though, but yeah, clearly something was really bugged there. Anyway, uh, fourth mission. I am curious to know though, so I'm gonna check it right here. 
I'm curious to know how many mi missions are there here. Let's see. Age of Empires 2. Montezuma.
Okay, I'll just go through this uh, mission and then basically stop it. Uh, so, Pass let's down see what to happens. Quauhtémoc, prisoner of Tenochtitlan. The next omen we did not see, but heard the voice of a weeping woman who cried in the night that she could not hide her children. Indecision plagued Emperor Montezuma. Was this man Quetzalcoatl, or was he just a man? As the Emperor brooded, the citizens grew restless. Cortes kept a close watch on the Emperor, and soon Montezuma became a prisoner in his own palace. Thus did the Spanish take Tenochtitlan without a siege. The Spanish collected all of the gold they could find. They were not interested in our art or ornaments, but merely melted down the gold for return to Spain. They also outlawed any further sacrifice to the gods, and when the priests protested, they were killed. The citizens and warriors of Tenochtitlan were enraged. We knew, even if our emperor did not, that these men were not gods. Riots broke out in the marketplaces and at the palace. And when Montezuma himself appeared on the walls, urging the Aztecs to be at peace, the people threw stones at him. It was time to remove these so-called gods from Tenochtitlan. Make my way back to Tenochtitlan and in the Spanish influence there. But how? Oak, banter one, banter one, banter one. Javio, ku, 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 banter one, ku, oak, banter one, oak, ku, banter one, oak, banter one, oak, oak. If you truly mean to free Tenochtitlan, then we will fight alongside you. Many Aztecs are held prisoner to the north. They would join us as well. Ku, ok. Ku, banterwun. Ok. Banterwun. Ok. Out of my way, pig. Ku. There are transports on the beach ahead. But they are guarded. We will need several Aztec warriors to defeat them. Ku. Well, yes, he is indeed a very powerful unit. He's supposed to represent our narrator. So close to the city. Setting up trouble, no doubt. Well, that was a fight I shouldn't have gotten engaged in. I must make my way back to Tenochtitlan in the Spanish influence there. If you truly mean to free Tenochtitlan, okay. then we will fight alongside you. Many Aztecs are held prisoner to the north. They would join us as well. Out of my way, kids. There are 
transports on the beach ahead. Mm -hmm. But they are guarded. We will need several Aztec warriors to defeat them. All right, let's go. What are you doing so close to the city? Stirring up trouble, no doubt. Right. Oak. Oak. Mantle. Oak. 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 A Tlashkalan priest. We must be cautious. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if we opened that jaguar pen. Montezuma was tricked by the Spanish. Vengeance shall be ours. We have reached the Tlaxcala outpost. We do not have time to destroy every building. Let us free the prisoners and escape. Vengeance shall be ours. We can gather our strength across the lake. But to get there, we must steal a transport from Tenochtitlan. We can train priests at this monastery and use them to capture villagers from Tenochtitlan. Yeah, not really difficult, honestly, more like uh, deeply frustrating, I guess. Let's keep going, though. Bantelwon, ok, ku, ok, ku, ok. Bantelwon, ok, 
Bunter one, Bunter one, Bunter one, Oak, who? Oak, Bunter one, who? Bunter one, Bunter who? Bunter who? Bunter one, who? Oak, Ick, ho, who? Oak, Heck, Bunter one, Bunter one, who? Okay, Oak, Heck, Bunter one, Oak, Bunter Well, that's uh, that's a fun situation, isn't it? Montezuma was tricked by the Spanish. Vengeance shall be ours. We have reached the Tlaxcala outpost. We do not have time to destroy every building. Let us free the prisoners and escape. Vengeance shall be ours. We can gather our strength across the lake, but to get there, we must steal a transport from Tenochtitlan.
Well, it was worth a shot, wasn't it? To try and uh, break through. Okay. Let's try again. Well, that's certainly fun. Bantle. 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 Bantle.
And that's it. The Spanish thought that Tignotitlan was theirs, but they did not count on the strength and courage of the Aztecs. Yes, indeed. Well, that's that. Otherwise, I would have just had to convert the villagers, come here, build some, you know, trebuchets, and that would have been it. Anyway, mission complete. The Spanish called it La Noche Triste, which meant the night of sorrows in their language. At first, the Spanish barricaded themselves in our homes and palaces, but we continuously attacked their quarters with stones, slings, and arrows. We drove the Spanish and Tlaxcalans through the streets of Tenochtitlan and across the three bridges or over the walls into Lake Texcoco. Thousands died. Those Spanish that were not killed by macanas or javelins were drowned by the weight of the treasure they refused to leave behind. Tenochtitlan lay in ruin, but the city was ours again. Many brave... Well, that was rather unfortunate. Hmm. Well, at any rate, I'd call it... Uh, even if I have to redo the mission because... Um, I screwed up with regards to the last few minutes. Even if that's the case... Then uh, I'll, I'll still do it. It's not uh, particularly hard. I guess I mistakenly pressed the key bind or something along those lines. Anyway... Costine here signing out. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more. Um, much appreciation to everyone that makes it possible. Um, Philip Wang, Chad Lang, uh, Yellow Sapien, and Elaine of Deathwatch. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.